hello you're welcome to my channel once again this video is about comparative performance of true broilers hybrid cop 500 and ross 308 under small scale production system if this is your first time of visiting my channel use this medium to subscribe like this video and share in this video we'll be looking at a comparative study of two broiler species ross 308 and COP500. In the last few decades, considerable improvements in the growth rate of broilers, broilers chicken, have been achieved. And this improvement can uh, majorly be attributed to the rapid advancements in genetic selection program in the poultry sector and also the feeding aspect as well. So we are going to be subjecting these two hybrid of broilers to the same condition, the same feeding, and the same management. And we are going to see their performance after 42 days. Now we are going to check the arrival weight of the Rostrio 8, which was gotten from Aggrated Archery. So we are going to check the um, arrival weight. Then after checking it, we are going to check that of COP500 gotten from Olam. So we are removing one of each carton because it came with one extra. It came as uh, 51 per pack. And we are just going to be making use of 100 uh, pieces of Rostriate and 100 pieces of COP500. The Rostriate is from Aggrated why the COP500 is from Olam birds, Olam archery. So, the so why acclimatizing the birds to different apartment, uh, the Rostrio 8 in their own apartment and the COP500 in their own apartment? And we are going to check uh, the average weight for both. You will be uh, listening at the same time to the possible causes of high mortality at early stage of broilers farming. So I will be highlighting some possible causes of mortality at early stage of broilers farming and the possible action you are to take to uh, curb the mortality or to prevent the mortality, whichever the case. So while watching, pay attention to this uh, briefing. Now, what are the very possible causes of early chicks mortality in poultry farming? The number one, without wasting much of your time, is purchasing poor chick from hatchery or from distributor. Purchasing poor chick. Poor chick quality can lead to high mortality at early stage of brooding. So in order to avoid this, you have to buy your birds from a trusted archery, archery with a good track record, or you purchase from a good and trusted distributor or supplier. In, with this way, you'll be able to uh, avoid buying poor chick quality. And two reasons of uh, early chick mortality is incorrect brooding. Incorrect brooding is the major reason and the number two reason why most people uh, misses it out of poultry farming. When you don't know how to brood correctly or you brood incorrectly, then you are going to suffer your birth, you are going to suffer your capital, you are going to suffer your efforts. So in order to avoid brooding incorrectly, you have to follow a good brooding pattern. There are many ways you can brood your bed successfully without any error. So follow a good brooding method. The number one thing you have to take note while brooding is to disinfect your brooding room before the arrival of your birds, not the day your birds is arriving. Days before your birds will arrive, make sure you have sanitized and disinfect your brooding room. Put it in good shape before your birds come. The number two thing you have to do before your birds arrive is to warm the room. The brooding room should be warm before your birds arrive. Because one thing about uh, day old birds is that they cannot regulate their body temperature for the first two weeks so they need you to regulate this temperature for them so you have to warm the temperature of the brooding room before 
the arrival of your birds. The next thing you have to do is you have to cover the brooding room either using a sawdust or wood shaving or you use a brooding paper like the one you are seeing in this video is called cheek brooding paper it is designed majorly for brooding or you use newspaper whichever way these uh, materials have the ability to absorb water and also prevent the cheeks from having direct contact to the bare ground so this should be noted also regulate the temperature I told you earlier that broilers or chicks, they or chicks cannot regulate their temperature within the first 14 days of arrival. So you, they need you to regulate their temperature for them. But at the same time, while regulating their temperature, make sure you provide room for cross ventilation. Because when there's no cross ventilation, there will be carbon build up in the room, which could lead to mortality, early chicks mortality. So another thing you have to take note is uh, the relative humidity. In broiler's house, relative humidity should be between 60 to 70 percent. Anything above or below this can negatively impact the best health performance. So you have to make sure that the humidity of the room is okay and to avoid coccidiosis. And you know coccidiosis can also kill your birds. Another great cause of early mortality in brooding is metabolic disease. An example of such is ascites. Another one is sudden death syndrome, which we are all used to. Now, let me expand on ascites. Ascites usually referred to as water belly. It is the fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity of your birds. It is mostly caused by imbalanced feed or by environmental factor or by genetic factor but most often it is caused by the feed the type of feed you give to your birds if the feed is not well balanced it's not well formulated then it can lead to ascite then when your birds are suffering from ascite you are going to observe that there's water log in their stomach in their abdomen abdomen the lower abdomen which you think are why is water as a result of ascite and ascite can kill your bears very well so that can lead to early chicks mortality so to avoid this make sure you give your bears a balanced feed a well formulated feed to avoid early mortality so that is another causes and a great causes of uh, mortality in broilers so this series of uh, comparing the growth rate of aggregated rostral aids to um COP 500 is going to continue. I'll be updating us in every in few days to give you the update on the weight, the weight gain, the mortality rate, and the feed consumed. Now they are presently consuming 45 feed. You can see the way we fortify our feed. So we are going to keep them for 42 days, and I will be updating you on their growth rate and their general performance if you are yet to subscribe to my channel use this medium to subscribe so that you can have access to the next video on this same practical and you can benefit more on many materials that is yet to come yet to be posted on this platform love you share this video if you are yet to share it with other people like the video comment ask your question and we'll see you in the next video